30 minute zero increment game. Nice long game. Just practice what we like. Well, we really like the pawn pushing, but I'm just bringing the bishop out here. I think I'm looking for an early castling situation. Uh, we could look to be a bit active, I suppose. Let's just keep pushing through the center here until there's a danger. I won't go on castle just yet. Maybe just keep a bit of early pressure on. Could take his knight takes, pawn pushes on. Knight has to move, knight takes the pawn for free, but then his queen comes here. Gets a little bit complicated then. Not really x raying through to anything, really. And it is my bad bishop. Maybe I should just bring the bishop back. I bring it here, just gonna drop, then come here. Ah, just bring it back, just bring it back. It's nothing immediately happening. He's jammed in at the minute, but I think this is going to start coming through here. We'll go here, and it's put our bishop in a fairly decent position. It's just going to maintain his attack on the bishop coming down, but that prevents him from developing his pieces. That's the psychology I'm thinking. Or is there a fancy way of him pushing through here, through to the center, winning some sort of tempo? Because it looks a bit strange that I think that potentially could happen actually. I remember the, yeah, I've been in this situation before and they win the tempo because they're ugly up the middle. So let's see. Oh, as we speak. Yes, exactly. Um, I was just thinking there. So it's either taken here and the smaller piece is attacking a higher piece. And the knight takes, or the queen takes, or we take here. And then they take here and then they're on our knight. But our queen can take their queen. Knight takes, but the knight can't take because he's got this um, pin through so the king has to take. Mm hmm. I think we're going to take this way. It seems more favourable for us. If I remember correctly, something like that. I was playing blitz type faster games. I was always taken with the wrong pawn. <clears throat> and they ended up in a slight advantage. I think this is the right way to go. We shall see. I can't really see a negative too much. He doesn't like this pin so this is going to actually take place well it does actually capture so we're following the process of the king not going and castling so that's interesting right he's now on our pawn so we could come round and attack the pawn his bishop then comes out and defends that's the annoying bit about it that i don't like uh, we could go and attack his knight, but he's not got the pin through anymore, so his knight can tear back. We could attack the pawn, but again, his bishop can come down and attack here. So this is not the... Well, there's options as well. Bishop can take his knight. Just don't like the fact that his bishop's coming here and defending this pawn. And we haven't got castled yet, but when we get castled, maybe the rook can start putting pressure on. But he's not going to give us that time because this pawn is going to drop onto the knight. Hmm. And also, his knight can take our pawn because he's got nothing behind. And even if we take with the bishop, his knight replicates. Hmm, so maybe I've not sorted it out. This king's in the middle. Can't attack it. If I bring this back, I'm blocking my own bishop. And I'm going to go here because I'm attacking this pawn at the same time. Looking maybe to get a fork here with the knight. If he decides to take. But the thing is, if he takes the pawn here, I can't jump there which is a shame so potentially bringing the bishop here 
Yeah, so it's not the best. Okay, so it does take, it does move. I'm moving the same piece twice, but then I can actually take this pawn now with this knight because he's not done it that way. So let's do that because he is defending here. Wow, that was a bit. Yeah, it's still ugly at the minute, but we have got the twenty pointer, which is the king hasn't got castled, so that's a, a massive plus for us if we can take advantage of it. Hmm. Got pictures of him chasing down the knight, chasing down the bishop. You know, give us something to think about, preventing us from developing our pieces properly. Okay, um, our bishop could come back here, you know, to attack this pawn, but at this moment in time, it's not available. Could develop the bishop out, attacking his knight. I think I'm more plumping for that sort of action, I think. Just giving space and maybe potentially options of castling queenside or kingside. So he's gone on the defence but also attacking. So we could take. They seem to be smoothly moving, don't they? Do we castle at this point now? I think we're just going to just develop this knight. Can see his pit, his knight, his um, bishop coming shooting down, attacking here. So I'd rather bring it here so we could push it there, the pawn. So now we do have options of castling king, king side or queen side. There's nothing meaty at the moment. Obviously, queen side would be better because then we've got the sort of x ray through to the king. But it's nothing major because the bishop can come out and protect. Okay, so now he's gone for a soft bishop move with a major attack on the knight here. So when we go and castle queenside, this bishop's going to be lining up to come here. We could take. So we do have a discover check on their king. And I think if we move here first, we've got angles here attacking the rook angle there attacking the pawn we do have the idea of coming here and attacking their knight and getting it for free but i didn't want to do that because he was attacking a piece already so i wouldn't have really won anything it would have been a piece for a piece he may continue with the attack but he may just move his king out of the way or he might just put his bishop in front whichever way well, the way they move the pawn suggests that they do know that they've got a discover check on the king and they need to move it so that we don't win a tempo and get a piece for free. So a fairly interesting development at this stage in this game. As you can see, I'm trying to Ah, uh, you see, he's moved the knight out of the way because we, we we could have got that for free. So they know what to do, they know what's going on. We could put pressure onto the knight. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Bishop could come and attack the rook. Bishop can take the pawn here. It would be nice if the knight could get there. And what else is he doing with this knight? Okay, so we've still got the discover chat. I think I'm going to take the pawn here. Obviously, why wow, he's moved there dead quick. Okay. Wow, he moved very quick there. So what's the story? Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Where does the knight go? He can always come back here. And then we go there with a check, but then his knight just jumps here. And then our bishop can attack the knight there. Although if we do do that, have a look, if we go there, his knight just goes here, attacking the rook.
attacks the rook. Our knight can go here with a check on the king. Also attacking the knight. Uh, the knight comes up to de defend. Bishop takes, attacking the bishop. Okay, let's give that a try. He goes here. Oh no! Oh, damn! I'm so stupid. I can't go there with a check on the king. He's just going to take the rook off the board. <laughs> oh, stupid. <laughs> okay, right. Let's. Oh, dear me. I just realised it. As I did it, then I'm like, well, you can just. Yeah, yeah. That's where calculation goes wrong. Oh, now he's on one now. So, piece for a piece. We take his knight, he takes our bishop. Rook comes across with a check on his king. So, we're still rocking and rolling. Or shall we move the bishop? Do we have time to move the bishop, do you think, or not? Could move the bishop. He chases it down again. Or if we move it right down here, he can still come all the way down. Hmm. Okay, let's go with that. So he takes, and then we put a check on the king. King moves to the side. His rook is now a little bit... Okay, so we could bring the knight across. That was a silly mistake. Just to come here type thing. Something to activate. Let's go here. Yeah, miscalculation there. Totally miscalculation. So have a count of the one, two, three, four, five, five pawns, one, two, three, four, five, six, six pawns. So we're we're winning at this moment in time because of the material we've got on the board. And positionally, I don't think it's too bad either. His rook's facing a pawn that is defended by a, a pawn in its own right. And he's looking to challenge, he's blocking off the square. So he, he knows what to do, doesn't he? blocking off this square because we were looking to go here with the knight attacking the bishop so if his bishop takes then our knight takes then his rook would take so he's seeing he's seeing the positions I'm going to bring the rook across now doubling up the rooks can't really do anything when you've got the bishops like covering the the squares I'm going to have to bring this knight across here, attack it. Oh my gosh, he's blocking off everything. <laughs> Just going to say, I'm going to have to bring the knight across here to attack his rook. This pawn can come up and attack the rook. I think potentially that is what's going to happen. Um, because I can't go here and take the pawn, like we said, because it's the same situation. Bishop takes, knight takes, and then the rook takes. Is there something else? Knight has potential for taking this poor rook off the board he's not going to allow that so we'll get the bishop off so i think we'll go this way attacking the because we've got to check on the king and the rook so i believe the bishop will take the knight it's looking for a glorious fork here so we have to be mindful of that it's just if the bishop takes then it takes us off of that fork Okay, so the bishop does take. We we'll grab the bishop. So it's not set in stone yet. We do have a check on the king, but I don't really want to split my rooks up at this moment. So he's going for the attack. So we're ending up in the position where we can attack the rook. Just make sure I'm not losing anything. So attack the rook with the knight. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. We might be able to take advantage of putting the check on the king because now the knight is in this position looking at this sort of action here potentially putting a check on the king somewhere building up the threats potentially 
the opponent's got options to attack as well so uh, he may I don't know what he's going to do at this moment but maybe just bring this back here look for an exchange he's got options So from a miscalculation we're trying to fight our way back into the game again and okay so it's come down there's no threats on my king at the moment so I'm not going to lose too much sleep over that uh, but he does have the open file rook can't come here to put a check on but this rook can and uh, just take the rook off the ball but it's even Stevens you know he's got a bishop he's got a rook and I've got a knight and I've got he's got a rook and I've got a, he's got a rook so is that how we want to play it we've got plus one on the pawn uh, I think that's the way I'm gonna have to play it I don't want to take any risks really uh, come across Check on the king and the rook, knight takes, king comes down for the knight, oh no actually it protects the pawn so it comes there, rook comes up to get the bishop off the board, interesting times, if it plays out like that then we might be on to a winner, oh he has done. Um, but I've forgotten about the knight <laughs> so it's going to be even Stevens again isn't it I was thinking of going here but his king is actually on my knight so there's an interim move that needs to be done but I don't think he's going to leave his king there but if he does so if we brought our knight back he's going to just challenge us isn't he? so if we brought it here attacking the bishop then the bishop's just going to move so we lose that impetus mm. so if we went here then his king takes, then we take his bishop his king's going to have to come back to protect the pawn we need to bring our rook back to at least here because his rook is going to come flying over here looking to get these pawns off Hmm. Oh, we could go like this, couldn't we? Then it's a rook against the bishop, but I don't think the rook's going to take. I think he'll leave it. Knight comes here with a check, check on the bishop as well. So in essence, the rook should take. Rook takes, and then I think that looks better, doesn't it? Let me just look at this first before I go and do the damn thing. There. Knight with a check on the king and the bishop. Rook takes and the rook takes. So it's a bishop and a. Yeah, so that makes sense, doesn't it? I don't think he will take though, but it's like, well, he's giving up a piece for free. Having an additional piece. He's, how's he going to work it? Oh, and the resign. Okay, let's just take a look at this um, game and see what suggestions can help improve so we came through with the bishop then the knight came through and then at this stage here it was attack on the okay so it's actually saying take the knight with the bishop okay so it's a bit of a blunder them actually attacking the bishop here it's not really saying it's a blunder for us um, not actually taking the knight the eval bar dropped down but it's not saying it's a bad move and yeah this is where we we're talking about well it could go either way really so they actually push through and it's actually better for us that they did that I just want to see yeah blunder yeah which one is the right one then I thought that one my rationale was helped me make that decision because of the fact of being able to get the 20 pointer which was the king not being able to castle is it saying this
The reason I don't like that is because then they push here, then our knight has to jump all over the place. Oh, but that's showing it's um, better. So obviously we go here, but then I suppose they can do that, but then we can go here and we win their bishop because of. Mm -hmm. That's a nice little play. Not saying that they would have to move like that. Okay, so it doesn't like that one. Fair enough. And then they grab. They got a little special star. So we grabbed. So it's saying it's more advantageous for black, even though he's got the 20 pointer. I'm, I'm comfortable with what I did, I, I believe. I, I think I'm okay with that. Although it's quite interesting looking at it on the other side of the coin. So I may use that version as well going forward but apply it better I don't think I applied it as good as what it showed just then in fact what I showed myself then so knight coming through and attacking the pawn seemed okay and then coming back around attacking the pawn still showing black as more favor now it's a little bit more drawn and we're attacking the knight so it's basically saying bring the knight out didn't really want to bring the knight out to here but obviously now that the bishop is being blocked by his knight I potentially could have done just wanted to be active it's got a piece that's undefended so he's going to potentially have to do something which it did do which was attack and it's showing black is in favor in this particular position so we grabbed so now we can develop our knight. So feeling again, because we've got options of queen side castling, king side castling, didn't really see it was a major um, deficiency. If uh, the eval bar is showing black is um, winning, but then this bishop move here is kind of erroneous. I think it's because it's not really actually attacking anything or it doesn't look meaty, does it? Only idea I thought was it was coming, gonna come here at some point to have a diagonal towards the my king so we castled and they attacked he's saying that's a blunder move hmm, so we should have just gone and attacked his knight because his knight's got no protection on interesting and then they make a blunder move which is the knight here doesn't like the capture of that pawn should have said oh it just says attack the knight well, I wanted to be a bit active. Okay, so we're still in a still in advantageous position here. Oh, a smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Look at the drop in the eval bar on that one. Whoa, it's saying bring the rook across. I think. Well, yeah. The only problem was was the fact that it could it could come here, and the miscalculation was that's where our miscalculation kicked in yeah so that was um kind of wrong ah <laughs> uh, dear okay so we attack the knight and we grab so we're back in back in favor and we did feel okay in this position it's just a matter of jostling a little bit now uh, it doesn't like the knight move but i felt okay i had a plan but then he seemed to just block it off with the rook move but it's saying ooh, that was not the good thing he should have taken with the bishop well, well I thought it was a good move because it's blocking this key square that I wanted here so we bring our rook to double and it's saying it's a blunder move oh dear me uh, oh it's saying it to here should have brought the rook here never mind that's not too major I don't think and that is a massive error from my opponent did we take advantage that's saying excellent there so they grab and then grab so with developing further advantages we could feel it in in the game the poor rooks weren't developed and we went for the exchange they captured captured and we did take a while over this position wondering how do we go for the exchanges and then we came up with this and the opponent resigned so very interesting game indeed and 
when calculation bites back that's that's the key thing for this particular game interesting game i really enjoyed playing it and yeah move on to the next one